Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'll be showing you how to fix Madden 24 crashing, freezing, not launching and giving you any other kind of error message when trying to play the game on your Windows computer. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, and this is very simple, is just simply restart your computer. I don't know when the last time it was when you restarted your computer, but restarting Windows is a very fast and easy way to resolve many issues. It could be that a service or a program or something has glitched within Windows is causing Madden 24 to not work. So just go ahead and restart your PC and then see if that fixed it. If it didn't, then the next thing that we want to do is right click on the start menu icon and then go to settings and then click on update and security and then just click on check for updates and ensure you have the latest updates installed for your Windows computer. If you have Windows 11 available, don't bother installing that. Windows 11 isn't actually that great. Or not at the moment anyway. Too many bugs. So once you've updated Windows 10 or if you're using Windows 11, updated Windows 11, restart your computer and then try the game again. The next thing that you want to do is also ensure you have the latest updates installed for your graphics card. So if you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to device manager, expanding display adapters and you'll see your graphics card there. So I've got the RTX 4060, which means I'd need to go to the NVIDIA website and download the latest driver for my RTX 4060. If you're not sure um, how to update your graphics card, then I will pop some links in the description below to some guides that I've done which will help you out. So now that you've updated Windows, updated your graphics card driver and also restarted Windows, if none of those uh, methods have helped fix the game, then the next thing that, well, the easiest way of attempting to fix the game is using a program that I created called Easy Gamer Utility. So click on the link in the description below if you want to download it and give it a go. Once you've downloaded the program, you will end up with a window that looks like this. So go ahead and click on the Fix tab. There's many options in this program that will help you out with all kinds of different things within Windows when it comes to gaming. But for this video, we want to click on the Fix tab, go all the way to the bottom, and then we're looking for the Custom Game Fixing option. So for the free version, I've given you free attempts, obviously free attempts, when it comes to fixing games. If you buy the pro version, you then get unlimited attempts. So I'm using the pro version. You now need to click on browse and you then need to find the games.exe. So you can see it's there, madden24.exe. Click on open and you then need to select EA app from the launcher list and then go attempt fix. Now easy game utility will attempt to try and fix Madden 24. And if it's successful, then it will say. So you can see it's done a few fixes, which is fine. And now it's trying to actually launch the game. So it's launching the EA app at the moment. And it's now about to launch the game. You can see there that it detected that I didn't run the program as an administrator, which is correct. So if I'd done that, then it might have been able to do a few more fixes as well. So for now, obviously I'm not using an administrator, but if this was to fail, I could try using the EGU as an admin. And there we go, you can see the game is now launching. So Easy Gamer done a great job there. It worked and resolved the crashing issues on my computer. I'm just gonna close that down for a minute. So for this video as well, I will also give away a free copy of the pro version. So comment below and subscribe to the channel if you want to enter that competition. I will message the person who wins later on next week or something. Alrighty, so that's Easy Game Utility. If it didn't help resolve the issue that you're having, then the next thing that you want to do is right click on the Start menu icon and go to Power Options. You now need to click on Additional Power Settings and you then need to select the High Performance option. Just make sure that's selected as this will give your computer a better performance which can help resolve any crashing issues. If that didn't help, then the next thing that you want to do is close all of this down, open up File Explorer. Once you have File Explorer open, go to Documents. And the next thing that we want to do is find the game within the list. So you can see Madden NFL 24 at the top here. We now want to go into this folder and you now need to find the user settings.dat file. 
We now want to right click on this file and go rename. And we then want to add CS to the end of that. You then need to click. You might not see .dat on the end. That's because I've got show extension files. Um, I don't know why that didn't hide it. But anyway, if you don't see that, don't panic. So once you've added CS onto the end of the file, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that resolved the issue. This is just going to basically change the settings back to their default values, which means you will need to then change the settings again. But it could be there's a setting that you change that was causing the game to not launch and crash. If that didn't help, then the next thing that we want to do is close this down. You then need to open up the start menu and you now need to type in disk and then clean up. You now need to select this option and select your C drive. You then need to untick everything and select DirectX and then go OK and go delete files. Give this a few seconds and then once it's done, that's all good. Try the game again and see if it helped. OK, so if you're still having issues with Madden 24 not working on your computer, then the next thing that you need to do is open up the EA app. Once you have it open, select your library and you then need to find the game within your games list. Click on the three dots and then click on repair. Now this is going to check to see if any of the files have become corrupted or missing for the game. If the EA app does detect an issue with one of the game files, then it will attempt to replace the file and fix the issue. And there we go, as you can see the EA app has finished repairing the game. So once it's finished, go ahead and launch the game and see if it helped resolve the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing that I'd suggest is you ensure you do not have any programs or apps running when you try launching the game as one of them could be conflicting with the game causing it to crash. So if you have MSI Afterburner open, if you have Discord or the Razer app, anything like that, ensure it's all closed and then try launching the game again. And if that didn't help, then the last thing that I suggest you try doing is removing the game from your computer and then reinstalling it. But install it if you do have the option to a different hard drive on your Windows PC just in case there's an issue with the drive that you're trying to install it on. For example, it's running low on disk space or something like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button below. And if you want to see more videos, then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.